Now, ordinarily, when fisheries biologists start investigating the population of a species, it's because they're trying to figure out why the numbers are falling. But here's a project with a difference. One East Coast species is thriving so well, questions are being asked. Most southern East Coast anglers heading out into the bays are familiar with this beautiful sight. A bait ball herded to the surface by a feeding school of Australian salmon. When you hook them, they put up quite a fight, punctuated by a series of aerial leaps. And it's a sight more people are becoming familiar with. The Eastern Australian salmon is found in Tasmania, Victoria and southern New South Wales. And lately, they've been pushing north. The movement sort of north up northern New South Wales and southern Queensland has been uh, fairly, is fairly unusual. You know, the, the older, older guys in southern Queensland say they've never seen schools of salmon up there before. And there's no doubt that we're seeing very large schools of salmon, quite large salmon, three to four kilo fish, in that part of the world. John Stewart is heading up a three year study into the Australian salmon. As well as trying to find out what's behind the population explosion, scientists are looking at whether or not they're from one big stock or separate stocks. And the final thing we're interested in is the impact they might be having um, on their prey. You know, at the moment there's schools of hundreds of tonnes of salmon off our beaches and headlands and they have to eat and so we're very interested to see what impact they might be having on, on what they're, they're eating. Mm. The salmon feast on these anchovies, white bait and juvenile pillies and sometimes develop an obsessive taste for the larval stages of these fish. That's when they're hard to tempt onto your line. And if you're wondering why some days you can't cast without hooking one and others you just can't take a trick, it may depend on what stage of feeding they're at. Most catches, the, the majority of the fish have either got lots in their stomachs or none of the fish have got anything in their stomachs. So they seem to be very much a sort of a, a gorging feeder where they absolutely stuff themselves with as much food as they can and then maybe they go and lay up off the beach and digest that food before going and stuffing themselves again. If you want to find out more about the Australian salmon or any of the other species scientists are researching around the country, head to the Fisheries Research and Development Corporation website.